Hi. Hey. <laughs> um, so you can just say uh, your name and then your domain. Okay. Uh, Helena Bruce, uh, PhD in clinical psychology. My research is really looking at training older adults. Um, and it's based on the idea that there's this correlation between hearing loss and falls in older adults. So what we know is that older adults, even with mild hearing loss, are at a three times higher risk of falling than older adults without mild hearing loss. So all participants undergo uh, a pre-assessment looking at their cognitive functioning, uh, their mobility, uh, their social engagement, and we also do uh, hearing tests. So just to get a good baseline understanding of where they're coming at. Uh, and the mobility or the postural stability is assessed in the neurocom room. So they essentially stand in this in a box and we ask, we ask them to do some challenging balance tasks and we get information about um, their postural stability from force plates in the floor. And then they undergo a six week training intervention where they're asked to cycle um, up on the conditioning floor as well as perform a cognitive training task. And then we reassess them afterwards to see if there's been any changes. So really the aim of our study is, well, we see these results and it strikes us that the common, um, the common mechanism is cognition. So what we're aiming to do is to try to train older adults with and without mild hearing loss. Um, and we're looking at really novel ways to train cognition with the hopes that this will uh, benefit them. And we know now in our day and age that we have a baby boomer population that's aging. And it's becoming really important to try to look at what ways we can intervene to help older adults maintain functional and healthy lives as they get older. We can't stop aging, but maybe we can help people do it a bit better. And something like exercise, which is, which is fairly accessible to older adults, um, I think that would be a, a really great contribution.